All right, so this is the new uh, Metro JTM 45. It's a kit, and I just installed a Lamar uh, PPIMV, so, uh, and I opted to do it on the front of the panel. So got the cables worked a little bit differently, but here is, uh, yeah, I've only had this thing for a day or so. Uh, here is my settings, and I hope you can see them all right, for uh, a pretty, gnarly driven tone. So with everything's on, uh, but if I strum and we're in an apartment, can't hear anything. Uh, if we turn this on a little bit, I can already start hearing it. And of course the mic, there we go. Okay, so again, Now the mic's not going to capture that very well, but that'd be a good practice, you know, late. See, when I'm talking, it's actually the same volume as I am just rambling on, blah, blah, blah. So, yeah, we're talking lower than a conversation or, or about the same. So, uh, again, we're in an apartment, so we don't have a high uh, volume ceiling. And, uh, so let's pump it up to relatively where. As you can hear, it's you know it's about as good as it's gonna get at that volume. Let's try the neck. You get the idea. So that's about as loud as I can go, but the thing's really useful. Now, if we scale this down, let's go normal channel, none. because we're not as driven. Bridge. I mean, sorry, no. Anyway, sorry, I'm, I'm not trying to play anything in particular, just show you how well this thing works. Let's go all the way down to, yeah, if I didn't have an attenuator, let's do that. Open it fully up. My guess is somewhere around here. So it's out of the circuit right now. Pretty damn bright. Now I went front panel. Whoop. So let's pop this guy out. Whoop, whoop. 
reach around, reach around. Let's go normal. So I kept the normal high instead. This is gonna be dark or darker. <laughs> Super dark. Not terrible, but not that usual. And the main reason is we have it EQ'd for the high channel, really. So if we were to, say, bump the presence up. go but let's cut this down I don't know if you can see now we're at a little more or less impedance I forget how it works doing that but yeah nonetheless it works so uh, I've you know, you've got the chance a choice of doing the rich mod and the Lamar and from what I've read with the JKM 45s the uh, the Lamar is the better way to go but you know could be different for each um, I didn't have any noise issues but again I'm not cranking it as in volume wise so maybe there's more noise if i was actually able to go louder but uh super happy got the kit from valve storm bought a little bit of extra cable and all that just so if i made any mistakes but um yeah and uh hope this is helpful and i'll point the direction to the thread where i uh sort of modified the diagram just so it's a little easier to figure out so sorry for the poor playing or the non-playing uh but you know it is what it is. You get what you pay for. Just as a reminder, let's go back. Go. Oh, let's see. What's let's see this other one gained out? Go here. Bam. <laughs> Fantastic for what it is. And let's try this one. Gained out. Good round of volume. Anyway, hope that's helpful. Definitely worth doing. It's, you know, all in probably $30, $40 in parts to 
be able to take this thing uh, anywhere. And you can use one of the speaker jacks in the back if you hate the look of the extra knob or you, you know, I don't know, whatever. So, till next time.